Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm doing scientific research with the professor Juan Arturo Castaneda, and today I will show the correlation between institutional and fuel ethanol market indicators in the world from the institution-based view. The focus of this study is to show if is there is a relationship between the institution and the ethanol market. And if there is a relation between them, is it more evident in dev developed countries or in developed countries? For that, we have collected institutional and market indicators. In the analysis phases, for formal in indicators, correlations were made with market and institutional indicators. For this, the R software was used using persons with correlations with a significance level of alpha equals 0 0.05. For informal indicators, a descriptive and visual analysis was performed. This is because only informal institution data for a single year for each country was available. So the informal data was related to the average annual rate of change of market indicator. Both for the analysis of formal and informal institutions, it was done by grouping two groups of countries, developed and developing countries. The criterion was used due to the VBI approach, which states that the relationship of institution is more evident in developing countries as, as it is more unstable. Based on this method, we will arrive at the following results. The Corruption Perception Index, which measures corruption in a country's public sector through the perception of experts and business executives, had more significant relations with developed countries. Furthermore, for developed and developed countries, the most significant relation Ship occur with the consumption and marketing indicator. The economic freedom index accesses the degree of economic freedom of nations and it has shown to have more significant relations with developed countries. Added to this, developed countries had more significant relations with the export market indicator, and developed countries had more relationships with the consumption index. The POCO indicator assesses how institutional and political factors constrain policy change and has two measurement units, POCO and POCO 5. Thus, two correlations were made between the indicators and the market ones. In the two comparisons, there were more significant relations with developing countries. The most significant relations for both indicators, when analyzed, the developed countries were with the producer price and import market indicators, while for developing nations, the indicator with the highest recurrence of significant relations were consumption, as we can see on these graphs. The Global Governance Index measures country governance across six dimensions. Voice and accountability measures how well citizens are able to participate in their country's government selection, access freedom of expression, association, and free media. Here we can see the values of significant relationship between the formal and market indicator. Rule of law captures perception of the extent to which agents trust and abide by society rules. Here we can see the values of significant relationship between the formal and the market indicator. Regulatory quality measures the perception of how well the government is able to formulate and implement solid policies and regulations that enable the development of the private sector. Here we can see the values of significant relationship between the formal and the market indicator. Political stability and absence of violence measures political instability and political motivated violence, including terrorism. Here we can see 
the values of significant relationship between the formal and the marketing indicator. Government effectiveness, weights perception about the quality of public service, the degree of its independence from political pressures, the quality of police, formulation and implementation and the credibility of the government's commitment of the policies. Here we can see the values of significant relationship between the formal and the marketing indicator. And control of corruption, measures by food perception, in which public power is exercised for private gain. Here we can see the values of significant relations between the formal and the market indicator. In this way, the correlation between dimensions and market indicator was made. The correlation of dimensions showed that the most of the significant relations of the WG indicator were, were with developed countries and that they occur with the ethanol consumption indicator as well as with developed countries. The informal Hofstede indicator is made up of six dimensions S and has a scale from 0 to 100. The analysis of Hofstede showed that the developed countries accept less power inequality are formed by more individualist people, there is a certain balance between female and male characteristics, are more used to dealing with uncertainty, encourage people to be persistent and cautious with their rewards, and allow people to freely satisfy their desire and enjoy life. On the other hand, the Hofstede indicator showed that developed countries accept power inequality care about the collective, have feminine and masculine characteristics, with rigid code of behavior, encourage people to save, and people are more pessimistic. These are some values of the countries on this indicator, power distance, individualism, masculinity, uncertainty, long-term orientation, endurance. The informal indicator globe has nine dimensions and a scale from one non-assertive to seven assertive. The global indicator shows that developed countries are more accustomed to uncertain, uncertainty and are more differentiated by class. Are characterized by people independent of the organization, the members of society are more altruist, given various social relations are more cooperative and the community has less gender equality. Or else, GLOBE demonstrates that developed countries do not know how to deal with uncertainties, have a larger middle class, greater social, social mobility, and higher gender equality. They are characterized by members with high loyalty to the organization, more individualistic that value training and that are more rational. In these slides, we can see the values of the countries on the global indicator. Future orientation, power distance, institutional, human orientation, performance orientations, in-group collectives, and gender. In relation to the average annual rate of change of market indicators, the production indicator developed countries had an average rate of change mostly positive but low. The same occurs with developing countries. The import market indicators from developed nations varied positively but low, while imports from developing countries were also positive but high. The consumption of developed countries is mostly positive, with a variation in the values of its participants, as occurred with developed countries. We ward the end stocks indicator both developed and developed countries frequently present values equal to zero. The average annual rates of change in exports for developed countries are mostly positive and low, while developed countries suffer greater positive change in exports. 
The indicator of other uses for developed country has, was most positive and with high values, while most developed countries had much lower values. The producer price indicator for developed country is low, while for developed nation the index is also low, with zeros being recurrent, but there are higher values. We know that there is a strong relationship between the institution and the ethanol market. This relationship was more significant with the we know that there is a strong relationship between the institution and the ethanol market. This relationship was more significant with developed countries. Consumption and production are the market indicators that are most closely related to institutions. The interpretation of results is still under preparation. It should also be remembered that these results do not show a causal relationship between institutional and market indicators. That's all. These are our email address. We would like to thank the FAPES Research Support Foundation. I'm sorry for my English. And thank you. Bye bye.